to another video. Today I will be testing two slime recipes without glue or borax. And we're going to be seeing if they work today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to a part of the pickle jar. Let's move on with the video now. I'm dead. Video's over. Because I'm dead. Alright, so we're going to start with a pretty popular one, which is the shampoo and cornstarch one. So, what we'll be needing for this are one bowl, because I'm going to be using body wash and shampoo. I'm going to be needing two, some cornstarch, and some shampoo and body wash. You also need two little sticks to mix with, and you're going to need a spoon. Um, to knock down things. No, you're gonna need a scoop. You're gonna need a spoon to scoop your cornstarch out of the packaging. <laughs> gonna mix our invisible slide. <gasps> wow, look at that, instant clear. You can't even see it because it's so clear. Let's take it out. <gasps> oh my God, it's so clear. Oh. Look at that instant clear slime. Oh my god, let's poke it. Let's just swirl. Oh my god, that's such good poking. Let's just, oh, it's so bad. Okay, I'm a little weird. Okay, so this side's gonna be the body wash, and this side's gonna be the shampoo. So we're gonna first start out by pouring both body wash and shampoo. Also, the only shampoo that I have in like a small container is this. So, please excuse it if you don't have it. Well, first of all, this fell out. This easily came out. Technical difficulty. Oof, that fart. <laughs> okay. That should be on someone's alarm sound. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna add like a little bit of cornstarch in each and I switch to a teaspoon or tablespoon, I don't know. So we'll do one scoop each. Now taking our little sticks, we're gonna mix these up well. So, okay, this one seems like it can form something. It's a little melty. Sorry, that's not a word. It's a little, like it almost looks like it's, it was good, but now it looks like it's melty. So we'll just do that first and then this one. I will add more to each. This one seems like it's working. But we just probably need more cornstarch. I might have just knocked that. Looks like whipped eggs or whipped butter. Reminds me of when I was helping out my auntie. But I feel like I'm baking in this side, so this is great replication of baking. <laughs> We're gonna add some more cornstarch to each mixed dish one because I had hopes for this. Cause salve is probably one of the best slime shampoos. One of them, not the, but one. Oh no, I feel like this is for me. I really feel like that. Moving on to the next one. This one's more just, it's kind of creating lumps, but it's not very melty right away. So you have some type of hope, but not such big hopes. <laughs> Let's 
See, this one's more like whipped cream. I don't know if we should work on this one. Maybe we'll work on this one first. Because this one's more slimy. Feel, it feels more slimy than this one. This one just seems like whipped cream. Then we to this one. We're working on the solve kids first. See, like it forms and gets thicker. And it's still stretchy while this one not so much. So body wash, eh eh, for now. We're just gonna keep on adding more and repeating. What do you think? It seems, it seems promising. I can feel it being thicker, just very sticky right now. Let's add some more. Cornstarch gets everywhere. You guys don't see it, but cornstarch is everywhere. It's forming, I think. It's crumbling, but Maybe this means we can start kneading it. Ooh, this is weird. I've never truly tried, like at least very hard, on making these shampoo and cornstarch slimes. I only tried very hard on the salt and shampoo. Cause those, I, I don't know, they seem believable. This one, these ones, I don't know. Oh no, it's starting to stick. But it forms it. Ooh, it's not really sticking anymore. It's pretty soft actually. It's more of a butter slime. Because like cornstarch kind of like clay. It's also more play doh -y, but it's very soft, see? It's butter slime. I don't want to make it too thick, but see, I truly believed in this one. And it, uh, uh, it works for no glue and borax. Usually those are the main ingredients. Like you can't make slime without PVA glue or some type of glue and borax. So this is a pretty good replica. Okay, now we're moving on to the Metamucil recipe, which is apparently non-toxic. So we'll be needing one cup of water some metamucil, one tablespoon, I mean one, one table, one, yeah, one tablespoon, and a spoon to mix things in. Oh, you also need a microwave. Optional is food coloring too, so yeah. All right. First, we're gonna start off by putting in your food coloring. It'll make it look prettier because, um, by the looks of the non-colored metamucil, it looks brown and poop. 
So we're gonna mix this well. Next, we're gonna add our our metamucil using this one tablespoon measuring spoon. Okay, and mix. Now we're gonna go to the microwave and microwave it every thirty seconds, and then mix it and then repeat until it gets into a slimy texture, which hopefully I will find what that slimy texture is. Okay, microwave we go. Okay, now I am back and we are now supposed to leave this for it to cool down and then come back and then it won't be sticky and it will be slime, hopefully. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. This has cooled down, so now it is time we play and see how the slime is. Oh, okay. So here's the slime. It's like it's like a jiggle slime. It's not oh, it's not that sticky actually, but it's more of jiggle jiggle. This is non-toxic, but I'm not sure what it'll taste like. I don't feel like tasting it though. Yeah, it's pretty. It's it's okay. Not pokeable. <laughs> Stretchiness is okay. This is when you stretch it, the slime can sticks. I don't recommend playing with the slime every day, but you can play with it sometimes. But yeah, this one is a in between. Because it's good and bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all later with another video. Bye! Chicka, 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 chicka. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jiggle all the way. Jiggle your way through this camera so you disappear. Hey.